Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at is video editing on Linux really as terrible as it seems? But first, before we get into the video, I would like to thank my channel members. These people get early access to videos as well as little badges next to the name on live stream that say, I support this guy, so why don't you? And they are Alex Exists and Miss Love. So, let's get into the video. Now, what we've got for video editing options on Linux is rather limited, shall we say. Now, I personally uh, have used Shotcut quite a lot. I would like it if it opened up. See, this is one of the things I'm not exactly a fan of. It doesn't always open in the correct screen. But in this case, it appears to be a fleshed out uh, now I don't want to check. It is a fleshed out bit of software. We've got everything you would expect. Uh, I'm going to actually try and open a previous... Uh, that one. So, opening up a previous project isn't always possible. But uh, in this case, <clears throat> what we can have a look at is what's actually available to us. Now, we've got, for example, we've got the output formats. We've got, we've got all, all the output formats of choice. We've got VP9s. I've, I don't touch that. But, for example, if we were to just drag in project name, I don't know, a cheese. He's a little bit. We choose this and then we will choose we'll, we'll just open up a file of we'll you know, we'll just grab that. So this is this here, but we so what we want to do is drag it down to the project timeline. Now this doesn't look like a lot and you'd be right, this isn't really much to go with. We've got peak metering for sound here if we want it. We've got properties here, again, if we want it. There's not really much to go off with. Like, here's our recent if we want. Let's bring it in. But there's not really much we can do video editing-wise. And if we look for... Like, well, yeah, we can scrub along the timeline. It's not as up-to-date as it would be with uh, DaVinci Resolve. Uh, OBS doesn't like me doing that. Because <laughs> if I scrub along here, OBS just has a moment with itself. Yeah, uh, 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 enc encoding overload. But this is not exactly really. There's not a lot we can do. Like, what filters are there? Like, there isn't really much we can do. Like, we can do like usual timeline stuff and selection. But there's anything out more than that kind of in a difficult position when it comes to choosing now when it comes to exporting uh i have to use software encoding because if we do, do just try to quickly export this uh, export the file to we'll just do he's it fails because it doesn't like the fact that it doesn't like my uh, nvidia graphics card but if i switch that to uh, and then do he's again. Yes, replace. It starts exporting. I mean, we can stop that export job. We'll just stop the job. And then remove finished. But it's not really much. So if we were to look for... we just look at the default software hub that comes with Debian. In this case, Debian 12. And just go video, video editing. For some reason, it suggests Blender for video editing. Uh, this is, again, not exactly ideal. Because 3D editing? No, and then there's just this, which looks even, for argument's sake, we will install it. I'm going to put the password in correctly. But 
this appears to be to me a even less fleshed out version than shotcut now unfortunately until like big companies like black magic design and adobe decide to release linux versions of their software we are left with open source versions now don't get me wrong the open source community does wonders it really does but yeah we're just left we're, we're just left in the situation of there's not really much we can do it's like i can't include a bit of like i can't include a, a picture in here I, i've had issues in the past which just doesn't let me just doesn't want me to do that like yeah i have the ability to change audio levels if i want and actually look at the audio levels and it gives me a spectrum and a waveform but that's really all it does like there's not really much that we can work with you know and it's it's annoying and video editing on Linux is severely, severely limited, which is rather unfortunate. But it's just, until we get to the point where large software, well, large companies release uh, Linux versions of their Windows software, there isn't really much that we can see. If there isn't really much we can change. Like, yeah, it's nice to see all of this, but... I mean, it doesn't really hold much purpose, you know. Anyway, I would like to thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike. They both seem to work. Remember, when you use Linux, don't panic. I have been Nick. You have been amazing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Goodbye.